To get started with your new Windows Mobile based device, you will need to familiarize yourself with the home screen. On the home screen, there is a start button and a contacts button at the bottom, which can be activated by the left and right soft keys. The soft keys activate the functions directly above them, making it easier to navigate and perform common commands. Use the left soft key to select Start, which reveals the main menu of programs. Use the navigation pad to scroll up, down, left, or right through the selections. Press down in the center of the navigation pad to select. Press the Home key at any time to return to the home screen. Use the right soft key to select Contacts. Here you can create a new contact or view existing ones. Personalizing your device with the time and owner information is easy. To set the time, start at the home screen and use the left soft key to select Start. Use the navigation pad to scroll to Settings and press down in the center to select. Scroll down and select Clock and Alarm. Select Date and Time to change your current time zone and local date and time. Press the Home key to return to the home screen. To enter in your owner information, start at the home screen and use the left soft key to select Start. Use the navigation pad to scroll to Settings and press down in the center to select. Scroll down and select More. Scroll down and select Owner Information. Here you can enter in your owner information. When finished, use the left soft key to select Done. Press the Home key to return to the home screen. It's easy to make calls from your contact list or by entering a number. To enter a number, press the green Talk key and begin dialing. Or, if you want to dial a number that is on your contact list, begin dialing numbers or letters on the keypad. Smart Dial will recognize the number and the corresponding letter so you can dial by name or number. Once you have entered the number or chosen the name, press the Talk key to place the call. Press the End key to end the call. Press the Home key to return to the home screen. You can synchronize your device with Microsoft Outlook on your PC with a sync cable. This allows you to carry your Outlook contacts, calendar, inbox, and tasks with you. Before you do so, please be sure to install ActiveSync on your PC before connecting the sync cable to your device. Let's review some of the items that you can sync. From the home screen, use the right soft key to select Contacts. Here are rich contacts that were downloaded from Outlook on your PC. Press the Home key to return to the home screen. From the home screen, use your left soft key to select Start. Use the navigation pad to scroll to Calendar. Here are calendar items downloaded from Outlook on your PC. While you are on the go, you can enter information on your device and update your PC in seconds when you sync them together. Please note that wireless access of the Internet from your device may require a separately purchased data plan from your mobile operator. Your mobile operator may have already configured your device for the Internet, but if not, follow these simple instructions to learn how. From the home screen, use the left soft key to select Start. Use the navigation pad to scroll to Settings and press down in the center to select. Scroll to and select Connections. Scroll to and select GPRS. Use the right soft key to select Menu. Within the menu, select Add. Enter a name for the connection in the Description field. In the Connects To field, enter the Internet. Enter the access point name provided by your mobile operator. If your mobile operator requires it, enter in a username and password. When finished, use the left soft key to select Done. 
press the Home key to return to the Home screen. Browsing the Internet from your device is convenient and easy. From the Home screen, use the left Soft key to select Start. Use the navigation pad to scroll to Internet Explorer and press down in the center to select. The first time you do this, a default list of favorites will appear. Select one and use the left soft key to select Go to open that web page. To view your favorites or your history, use the right soft key to select Menu. Scroll to and select Address Bar. To be directed to a website, enter the text in the address bar. If there are websites bookmarked, you will see them in a drop-down menu. Use the left soft key to select Go. Press the Home key to return to the home screen. Please note, your mobile operator may require a purchased data plan for wireless network access. Your device may be Bluetooth capable. Here are instructions for connecting to other Bluetooth capable devices. From the home screen, use your left soft key to select Start. Use the navigation pad to scroll to Settings and press down in the center to select. Scroll to and select Connections. Scroll to and select Bluetooth. Use the navigation pad to arrow over and select Discoverable. Discoverable allows other Bluetooth devices within range to detect your device. Use the right soft key to select Menu. Scroll to and select Devices. Use the right soft key to select Menu. Scroll to and select New. The device will search for another device. Click on the device that is found. Enter the pass key to the Bluetooth capable device you are connecting to. Use the left soft key to select Next. The other device will need to connect. Use the left soft key to select OK. Enter the display name for the device. Use the left soft key to select Next. Choose from the list of services you wish to use for this connection. Use the left soft key to select Done. Press the Home key to return to the home screen. To access your email, you need to set it up first. Please note that wireless access to email requires Exchange Server 2003 and access enabled by an IT administrator. An Internet Service Provider account data service and mobile service subscription may be required from your mobile operator. From the home screen, use the left soft key to select Start. Use the navigation pad to scroll to Active Sync and press down in the center to select. Use the right soft key to select Menu. Scroll to and select Add Server Source. Type in your server address provided by your IT administrator. Use the right soft key to select Next. Enter username, password, and domain. Select the Save Password box so you do not need to enter it every time you connect to your email server. Use the right soft key to select Next. Choose the items you wish to synchronize, contacts, calendar, email, or tasks. Use the left soft key to select Finish. Use the right soft key to select Menu. Scroll to and select Schedule. Here you can select how often you would like your device to sync during peak and off-peak times. Use the left soft key to select Done. Press the Home key to return to the home screen. Please note your mobile operator may require a purchased data plan for wireless access. Hotmail and MSN Messenger may be included on your device. From the home screen, use the left soft key to select Start. Use the left soft key to select More. Use the navigation pad to scroll to Pocket MSN and press down in the center to select. Here you will find MSN Messenger, MSN Hotmail, Compose Hotmail, or MSN Mobile Home. 
scroll to and select MSN Messenger. Use the left soft key to select Sign In. Enter in your email address and password. Use the left soft key to select Sign In. Now you are signed in to your MSN Messenger. Please note that wireless access of Hotmail and MSN Messenger from your device may require a separately purchased data plan from your mobile operator. Press the Home key to return to the home screen.